gentlemen, and welcome to the Mental Cast. This is episode number 414, brought to you each and every week by GeekJuiceMedia.com. Uh, you can also find us over, uh, you can find all my stuff over at Patreon.com slash Mental. If you uh, are a supporter of $5 or more a month, you get early content and exclusive content. Uh, you can email us at MentalCast at GeekJuiceMedia.com, uh, geek or you can find us at uh, Facebook on MentalCast or GeekJuice. I'm Mike Riley. I'm Chelsea Tarkington. I'm Billy Carter. Michigan. Well, I'm, be, I'm Billy Carter. <laughs> I'm Adam Winkleman. And I'm Ricardo Arredondo. Hello. Thank you very much, yo, Mr. Arredondo. Libra. Uh, <laughs> For introducing yourself to when I needed it. Thank you. All right. Uh, that's enough of that. This is going to turn into a county fair very, very quickly. Foreigners, <laughs> foreigners, is just going to rush out. Funny thing, I actually, <laughs> hey, I've actually. Mr. Roboto was sticks. Funny are, thing, funny you say here, that. Comes on the main he, stage, he, he, Adam and no, it's, it's funny. Such a diverse band because there was like Mr. Roboto and then Sail Away and then um. <laughs> it's funny you mention a county <laughs> fair one. because uh, I did. Uh, I did actually sing at a county fair once. So did you really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> did they pay you? No, it was for a competition. <laughs> no. Wait, was, wait, wait, wait. Were you supposed? Were you to? allowed? To? Yeah, it, it, like it, it was for. If, well, if you guys would shut up for a second, so I can explain. <laughs> Fuck. No, it was part of a competition. Uh, the, it was doing a thing called Preble County Idol. Yes, I know the name is stupid. Uh, I didn't name the competition. <laughs> But I was singing karaoke one night when I was, uh, after I was done working at the restaurant doing the karaoke. And the person running it was like, you should come and do to, uh, Preble County Idol with us. Um, and had I had a ride to the finals, I would have probably, or the semifinals, I probably would have made it to the finals. But I didn't yeah. get a ride, so I didn't end up finishing. I have been on good authority that when Mike asked if he could sing, the judge said, only if you can sing tenor. 10 or 11 miles away from us. <laughs> no! Oh, damn you, well, that's, bit. that's what I get for sharing something personal with you. you fuck me, I guess. All right, let's I'm, move on I'm now to... to let's no, move please. on now to the top five fuck my life stories of the week. Yes, it's the top five fuck my life stories of the week. Mike, I, I love you. <laughs> you want to you wanna hug? You wanna... Oh, oh. Thank yeah. you, Daniel, so I didn't have to say that word. <laughs> it's the top five metal news stories of the week. That's right, the top five metal news stories of the week. You give us 22 minutes and F -E -F -F -F. <laughs> Number five, protect to protect and self-serve. <laughs> oh. Camden, South Carolina. Oh, Lord, there we go. A South Carolina police officer is accused of watching pornography and performing a sex act on himself in his patrol car while on duty. He was masturbating. Uh, Cat source, duty. Sources report that Officer Marshall Lee Harden II, 41, <laughs> <laughs> it just writes itself. has been charged with misconduct Good night, everybody. in office. everybody. Has been charged with misconduct in office connection uh, to the incident last week. Uh, the Camden police officer is accused of watching porn on his cell phone inside his patrol car and performing a sex act on himself in the car and in a nearby public restroom. The suspect has been jailed in the Kershaw County Detention Center. He faces charges of malfeasance, misfeasance, or nonfeasance. And pleasuring him oneself. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't say he was masturbating. They said he was performing a sex act. For all we know, he could have been fucking a, fucking a goat there, in that car. Um, there's actually... <laughs> this is South Carolina. On the uh, Fox yeah. Carolina website, there is a... Papers up for his immediate dismissal. Yeah, I see there's a link to that. Um, let me look at his papers here. It's a PDF. It means it's going to take forever to open. Uh, <laughs> and this was France. They would go, did he finish? I actually did have he it finish? open. <laughs> I have it open if you want me to read it. Did he I got it. Il est fini? It doesn't say anything different than the, the news report just that has said, though, is the thing. It just have pictures. It's just like, uh, he was doing it, doing dirty things in a car, you know, the, well, the usual. Malfeasance, 
misfeasance or... Yeah, I mentioned this. That was in the news story I read. That's just basically, if you're, you know, supposed to be upholding the law, but you break it yourself, that's misfeasance. Uh, yeah, cousin that did that. Number four... Fuck number, the goat? Number four... Oh, I was wondering why there was dead air. Number four, naked on the dock of the bay. <laughs> Naked in the dark of the bay. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Uh, Corpus Christi. Ooh. Corpus Christi, Texas. A man with no clothes on decided to take a dip into Corpus Christi Bay just after 6 a.m. on Wednesday. Corpus Christi police were called to People Street Tea Head for a naked man hanging off the bulkhead. When they arrived, <laughs> they found the man in the water. Officers attempted to help the man get out of the bay, but he refused and swam uh, across the channel, got out, ran up onto Lawrence Street, <laughs> Elhead, where he removed the mooring lines to the Columbus boat. After <laughs> removing the lines, he went into a closed-off patio area of Joe's Crab Shack. He's still naked, by the way, at this point. Uh, and Watch climbed the stairs crabs. Climbed the stairs of the restaurant. He made it to the third floor and stood on the ledge of the balcony and began singing, uh, singing uh, My Heart Will Go On. No. Seriously? This <laughs> no. man is a hero? <laughs> I'm a golden you know, number is, here. I would be more impressed if he started singing Hammer Smashed Face by Hannibal Corpse. And uh, holy shit! A <laughs> uh, crab got me. This, this guy is the uh, brother of uh, Vermin Supreme. Just everybody to know that. Uh, officers arrested the man, 29 year old Shane Beck, for indecent exposure, evading arrest and public intoxication. Hey, Vermin Supreme for president. <laughs> Yeah. He's his first his quick. first reaction. Now nah, you can't catch me, Coppas. I'm gonna jump in the water and swim over all the way. Never walk I... naked never walk naked into a place that serves crabs. I was in the pool. I was in the pool. I have more I have molar authority. Uh number three. Why is that man on top of grandma? Oh. Because uh, she got ran over by a reindeer and no, he's a necrophiliac. No, no, just no. No. Palm Beach, Florida. Take a it's shot. 42-year-old like, mm. grandmother high on Xanax, morphine, and vodka had sex in the bathroom of the suburban Boynton Beach community gym. Whoa, demo. whoa, whoa. Back that oh, up. Oh, how is she not dead? <laughs> Wait, she's, she's high 40. on morphine and bobcats? And she's 42? <laughs> <laughs> vodka. Oh, a for- vodka. <laughs> bobcat. <laughs> I just can't get me enough of them bobcats. Chelsea, you misled it. She got high with the Charlotte Bobcats. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is going to be another another top metal n- news story moment. Top <laughs> metal cats. Well, Chelsea talking about getting high with bobcats. Although, is that like the thing like on... Um, wasn't there a South Park episode where cat piss got you high? Yes. <laughs> Maybe bobcat piss gets you, like, cheese right. well, piss Ch- high. Chelsea, I don't know. Chelsea, try tomorrow, and then report back next week, okay? Yeah. Uh, 42-year-old grandmother high on Xanax, morphine, and vodka had sex in the bathroom of a suburban Boynton Beach community gym in an, uh, while her two-year-old grandson was in her care. Uh, another child whose age was not released told police he saw April Purvis, 42, having sex in the bathroom, quote unquote, at the Indian Hills Communities Rec Center with a man and heard them moaning. Purvis, who failed the Those were the bobcats. Is there a picture of this woman? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, Give me one second. Uh, <laughs> Easy. I just like. This is what I imagine a person high on bobcat sounds like. There she is. <laughs> she, 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 she's not too bad looking if she had some makeup on. But you know. uh, she faces a child neglect charge. Uh, is that a scar a under her eye? Bathroom. No, those no. are missing five teeth. Those are bags. Yes. Those what do you mean? Is she bags. missing five teeth? She's not smiling. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Who I would say be smiling? What about this picture, Mike? Just roll with it. <laughs> No. She she no she, she has a tail growing out of her ear. How does that? Happen? <laughs> she has an eye made out of a ruby. <laughs> oh <my. sighs> is she why have, wait a minute. Why does she have a nipple growing out of her forehead? <laughs> what the, fuck am, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You're 
hanging out with this bunch of yep. women. Wait a minute. Mike, why are you making pudding? Because I've lost all control. Because I've what? No, it's it's four a.m. Why are you making pudding? Because hey, I've Mike, lost why don't you come over life. here and get high with bobcats with no. us? No, <laughs> Mike, I've lost the ability to make good decisions. Wait a minute, wait, wait. I've lost the ability to talk on my own fucking show. That's what I've lost. <laughs> it's a coup! It's a coup! <laughs> I'd love to get through the news. It's going to take us seven hours at this point. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Go. Number two. Boy, there's been a lot of nudity today. Well, all right. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> so, this is from Baker. I don't know the state. It just says Holy Baker. Uh, oh, it's it's Florida. Sorry. Baker, take weed. a shot. Uh, 24-year-old woman. Smoky weed. Oh, and it's more child neglect, too. A 24-year-old woman... A 24-year-old woman faces a charge of child neglect after she got drunk while caring for a young child, lawmen say. According to the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, the woman's father came home after being away for about two hours and found his daughter, Whitney L. Kilcrease, lying... (laughs) Kilcrease. Lying unconscious on the floor with the child playing nearby. When she awoke, she became violent and started using profanity. She went next door to her uncle's house and locked the door. Concerned about the child's safety, the father was able to get the child away from Kilcrease, who was throwing items inside the house. (laughs) A deputy deputy found Kilcrease lying face down on the floor without any clothes on. Uh, The deputy could clearly see her Kilcrease. Uh, The deputy wrote... (laughs) The deputy, <laughs> the deputy wrote, when I tried to talk to Whitney, her speech was slurred and un- un- unintelligible as well as unable to stand. She was taken to a medical center. Uh, she had a red blood alcohol content of 305 milligrams uh, per deciliter. Remember, uh, kids, bobcats, not even once. Uh, point, that's a point. <laughs> Give it, that's a we point three oh five on the uh, on the alcohol scale. So she was Real like wild. five times the Whoa. legal limit. <laughs> She was drunker than a skunk, this woman. And skunks. See, you, you, can, oh, you can get drunk on no, skunks, too, no. just like you can get high on no, no, no. cats. Here's the, here's the problem. Oh, by the way, I'll send you a picture of this Chelsea, woman. Chelsea, we're never taking not. you to the zoo, by here's the way. Here's the picture of this woman, too. Just I'm actually it. going to the no, zoo no, no. on Friday. No, no, no. Yeah. She, was, she, she told deputies later that her father left her on errands, and she started drinking Captain Morgan. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's glad. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, you don't even get this. The, the picture just doesn't come up in the Skype chat for you guys. But, oh, well. Hold on a second. Maybe oh. I can just do it this way. Yeah. There's a, there's a like vague... Oh. The there woman. you go. Yeah, there's there you a go. vague resemblance between yes. the two That's women. Maybe they're related. I like what? her smirk. She's... She, she, yeah. she, she's like the, the 20-year younger version of the one up there. Did you enjoy looking at my kill crease? <laughs> She drank uh-huh. so much, time traveled. Let's just say you need, your crease needs a little ironing. <laughs> because it's like Ryan! Ryan! Oh, Guys, ironing, I sorry. Faces of bobcat I thought right you said now. irony. Number one, plumber's crack plus. Oh. Is, is this my story? No, I'm joking. No, because this is out of Tilbury, Ontario. Hmm. Oh, hey, Canada. Haven't seen you in a while. Provincial police say a plumber is facing a March 1st court date. After allegedly stripping in front of a customer. Oh. Well. Probably yeah. that weird thigh. You had, she just you had, wanted to try to sh- that, you had to try out that plumbing. She just wanted to show him his, uh, her his leaky faucet. Pillsbury say oh. a Tilbury, Ontario woman called the plumber on January 16th after finding she had no hot water. It's alleged that uh, when the plumber arrived, he stripped naked in front of the homeowner and put his overalls and uh, on... And upon completing the job, undressed again and put his clothes back on. The man gin- <laughs> then gave the woman a bill and left. Uh, she, he was arrested Wednesday night and charged with mischief. Now, did he touch her in any way? Or no, not fond- according to the story. Fond- fondle himself? No, no, no. just uh, undressed and put He's his overalls really on. really uncomfortable in undressing in front of people. Yeah. <laughs> listen, That's just it, how listen. he was taught how to plumb. Mario? Mario? Yeah, yeah, plumb. Fine, if he just lets this blow over for a couple of weeks... <laughs> yeah. Hey, excuse me. You do want to see him on mushroom? He he can't really get charged for much other than indecent mischief. exposure. No, he didn't even get charged for that. Just mischief. It's not even. I don't know how indecent. That's, that's a he, misdemeanor. Yeah. Hey. All right. This isn't really going to affect him in any way. This week in music, and there's a lot. 
Believe me. Oh, no. First, let's start at the top. For All Kings by Anthrax. Ooh. I've actually heard their uh, first single off it. It's really good. <laughs> Anvil is Anvil by Anvil. Ooh. Who else? So wait, what you're telling me is Anvil is Anvil? Anvil by Are you Anvil. sure? Yeah, and it's by Anvil. Oh, okay. Anvil is Anvil by Anvil? Holy shit, it's so Anvil. Uh, Anvil my very, Anvil. Such Anvil. Anvil. We're Anvil's an adjective now. Listen, so the newest Anvil. album, Anvil oh. is Anvil by Weezer. <laughs> uh, statues by Black Peaks. Diggin' Deep by Bonnie Raitt. Turning Ooh. Point... Turning Point by Chuck Wicks, Devil Guard on the Bal, a uh, Devil on the Balcony by Co- bleh, fucking Ooh. Devil on the Balcony by Coast Guard, S- Hard Hard Settle ain't Hard Settle ain't Trouble by Donovan Woods, Hum by Iriwanda, Heart Watch <laughs> self titled, uh, H X L T self titled, This Unruly Mess I've Made by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, Honest Man by Matt Anderson. Sisters by Odd Nose Dom, Grand Feathered by Pink Shiny Ultra Blast, Elliot Street by Quilt, The Ridge by Sarah Newfield, SVIIB by School of Seven Bells, uh, Meet the Humans by Steve Mason, I Like It When You Sleep For You Are So Beautiful Yet Unaware of It by the 1975. Uh, excuse me? That's a creepy frickin' title. What? Uh, it I was like ni- watching you sleep. It was 1975. The yep. Romantics had a song about it. No TV. Uh, Young and Afraid by Moth and the Flame. Zoetic by The Rocket Summer. Volume by The Two Tens. And Stranger Things by Yuck. Yeah. Yuck! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't know any of those bands. No one even one. Except for Anthrax. Uh, never... So, this week in movies, on the 26th of February, we have... <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. I just decided to do a fanfare. It could uh, suck. Mike and the movie. Does it suck? What is it? Eddie the Eagle, starring Taron Egerton, Christopher Walken, and Hugh Jackman. Oh boy! Oh, oh. Christopher Walken. Oh, Oscar, Oscar, right there. Oscar wins. Ten out of ten. Really? The Oscar for this movie. Edward Edwards. That's terrible. The notoriously tenacious British underdog ski jumper who charmed the world at the 1988 Olympics. But this bitch's name was Edward Edwards. Mm-hmm. Ed, Ed. Why? I just want to know who Christopher Walken is in the movie. Um, I'll, let me look up his character. The he's, Eagle. He's a character named Warren Sharp. Oh boy. <laughs> Can't wait. Uh, Gods of Egypt starring Jeffrey Rush, Gerard Butler, <laughs> Brenton <laughs> Thwaites, <laughs> Courtney Eaton, so Nicolaj Costa-Waldo, and Chadwick Boseman. Did you say Where's Waldo? <laughs> yes. Where's Waldo the movie? Starring Sam Elliott. <laughs> no persons of color. Not even Arab descent, which would Not make more sense. Not even Arabic people. It looks terrible. There's one named character who is not white. I read the entire cast one time. One named yeah. character who's not white. Right. Uh, I mean, there's like a couple, maybe there's a few Hispanics, but for the most part, it's white, 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 British, white, 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 white. Very uh, good. And Triple Nine starring Hold Kate. On, the, I gotta give the synopsis of this stupid piece of crap. Normally, see, I'm, I'm hugely into Egyptian mythology, so this could have been a really cool movie for me because I'm into Egyptology, I'm into myths. This could have been great. But the cast, and it's not that they're bad actors, it's just, I'm gonna feel like racist if I watch it. Anyway, <laughs> mortal hero Beck teams with the god Horus in an alliance against Set, the merciless god of darkness, who has usurped Egypt's throne, plunging the once peaceful and prosperous, prosperous empire into chaos and conflict. And Triple here's the thing. A bunch of white people. Triple here's the nine. Thing. The gods didn't have human features. They were like half animal. Half oh human. yeah, they all had like bird. Well, Osiris and, and Isis had uh, normal features. Set kind of had that weird set beast head. But, Sometimes but he also was, was shown it? as fully human. The, the 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 four of them, the Osiris, Isis, Set, and Nephesis, and Nephesis were were human. But Set also had the animal form. But Osiris, Isis, and, and Nephesis had human forms. Uh, the rest of them, like Hathor and Sekhmet and Bast and... H- Hathor was their first H- god. No. Uh, Triple Nine, starring Hathor's Kate Winslet, now. Woody Harrelson, Gal Gadot, Anthony Mackie, Teresa Palmer, Casey Affleck, Clifton Collins Jr., Aaron Paul, Norman Reedus, and Shawita Leofor. Norman Reedus. Shawita Leofor, you can't. 
Triple X sequel. You, Glenn Coco. You go, Glenn Coco. Anyway, this is a gang of criminals, corrupt cops, and corrupt cops plan to murder a police officer in order to pull off their biggest heist yet across town. And Billy, for the record, Hathor wasn't originally a goddess. She wasn't even originally Hathor. Hathor came up from segment after segment, was turned from a warlike goddess into a love goddess. Okay, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's code for I have no idea what you talk, just said. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't talk is... out your ass to me about Egyptian mythology, because I'll freaking own you. Settle this down. This is my favorite day of history class. <laughs> and Mark is history rolling class, his house. I kept contributing so much to the conversation about my history class when we were studying ancient Egypt that my teacher let me teach the class. Uh, no joke, this was This in week school. in video games, on February 23rd, Far Cry Primal for PS4 and Xbox One. That actually looks pretty awesome. That, yeah. Hitman Go Definitive Edition for Windows, PS4, and Vita. Ninja Senki DX for Windows, PS4, and Vita. Once Upon Light for Windows and Mac. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. The most anticipated sequel. The Walking Dead Michonne Episode 1 in Too Deep for Windows, PS3, PS4, 360, and Xbox One. Disgaea PC for Windows on the 24th. Also on the 24th, Runner 2, The Future Legend of Rhythm Alien for PS4. And The Flame and the Flood for Windows, Mac, and Xbox One. On the 25th, Super Hot for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Assassin's Creed Identity for iOS. On the super 20th, Hot's just like about me, because I'm like super uh, February 26th, Stardew <laughs> Valley for Windows. The Town of Light for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And We Are the Dwarves for Windows, Mac, and Linux. We are super the, hot. We Flat. are the dwarves. We have arthritis. <laughs> I'm the actually, Mary with children bit, I think. Yes. I'm actually really excited about uh, the new Walking Dead one. Yes. I don't know why. Well, Walking I do know why, but... Because uh, it's Telltale Games, and they're always... Yeah, they have a pretty good track record. Yes. I've, I think I've played Tales from the Borderlands uh, and and their Walking Dead games, I think. Twenty three. Puzzle Agent. This was a good one and two. Puzzle Agent. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, top eight deities in movies. Uh, before you make your picks, I want to read the caveat. For the purposes of this list, any character who serves as a deity in their respective films is eligible. Uh, included are those who cons are considered demigods, but not creatures such as angels, devils, titans, mythic creatures, and the like. Titans. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus doesn't count. Jesus is totally a deity, though. He is he's, a deity. He's worshipped. Well, I I can't okay. really argue with Billy's logic on this. He's, I'm he's kind of on point. <laughs> 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 and he's been in, Jesus has been his focal point of several movies as well. So I, like I said, I can't fault this logic. Uh, Chelsea took Loki. Superstar, because he is best god. Yes. <laughs> well, okay, I'm saying that uh, going up against Jesus. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Loki versus Jesus. Let's say, let's say sexiest. Now kiss. Now well, that depends on who plays Jesus, kiss though, Chelsea. Loki anywhere on his body. It could be if it's, Jim if it's Jim Caviezel as Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim Caviezel is kind of a... But I actually find him more attractive when he's not is, being Jesus. Is, Mar is Marty Feldman still alive? No. If you guys just ignoring no. what I said about Loki. I heard you, but I wasn't going to say that again. <laughs> um, the synapse is fired, misfired there, I think. Uh, Adam no, Ricardo. I think Loki is Please, can, can I go with Gozer the Gozerian? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, why not? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go with Gozer. I'm going to go with Drop Dead Fred. Uh, Ricardo? <laughs> oh, I love and that movie. Who did you Morgan pick on Facebook? Morgan Freeman as God. Morgan Freeman as God, yeah. Yeah. Well, God that's kind of big deity, y'all. <laughs> honestly, yeah, Jesus and God. Well, well, know. Then, well like, if you want to get technical, narrow narrow narrows down a little bit, Billy. Which which movie is this? Is your Jesus bro? Will Ferrell. Is Jesus. <laughs> um, <sighs> that's a that's a weird thing which, for somebody to say. What movie which, is your Jesus from? <laughs> um. Well, there's the greatest story ever told. There's that one. There's okay. you know the Passion. There's um, the one that's just called Jesus. Uh, well, uh, Ricardo's picking uh, comedic uh, comedic performance, so uh, I can separate those two. So, uh, missing the cut, we have Thor, played by Chris Hemsworth from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. True. Also sexy, would also do. Uh, Aslan, played by Liam Neeson in the Chronicles of Narnia. It's it's an allegory it's, of God. That's okay, just, it's that's pronounced... Just, that's guys, just Jesus as a lot. Guys, 
did you a not see the movie or b not know how to pronounce that? It's Aslan, and he's the Jesus allegory lion. I was just swooned by uh, Liam Neeson's voice. I didn't care. <laughs> Dead silence. <laughs> uh, we have God played by George Burns in Oh God. Yes, oh God. that's yeah. I like that movie. Uh, Ra played by Jay Davidson in Stargate. Yeah. And sure. Persephone played by Rosario Dawson and Percy Jackson in the Olympians of Lightning. Yeah. Boo! Yeah. That movie sucks. Uh, ah! It does. All of them. Oh, that's uh, a sad movie. At number eight, although, it's. Uh, although, although, I will say, Shining Star to. um, What's his face? What's the guy? The guy. He plays Hades in the movie, and he's. I love James it. It's not James Woods. James Woods is still best Hades ever, hands down, my yes. favorite. Best. No, I don't care. What other movies you have or TV shows with Hades in it, James Woods is best Hades. But no, the guy who plays it, he was in Tropic Thunder. He was in Hamlet 2, which was also um, somehow about Jesus. He was Jesus. It was weird. Hamlet 2 is a weird freaking movie. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but it's weird. Yeah. yeah. And number eight. Anyway, that uh, guy's as good as Hades. Number eight is The Rock, played by Hercules. Demigod. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> no, uh, Hercules. Poison. I am Hercules. Number seven is God, played by Alanis Morissette from Dogma. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's right. like Sorry. Well, you see, you know, this is what I, I I don't have a problem with that movie. You know, being a Christian is because if you were actually to look into the face of God's true form, you would die. So you got to make subtle forms to be able to show people. Number six, Gozer. Played by Slavisa <laughs> Jovan and Patty Edwards. From oh, yeah. We're getting Sumerian here, huh? <laughs> uh, number five is Hades, played by James Woods and Hercules, the animated film. Ooh. How, are, how are things? Uh, you know, a little dark, a little gloomy, and it's always full of dead people. Number four is Sita, played by Rena Shaw and Sita Sings the Blues. Oh! Ooh! Oh, yeah. Nice! Yay, nice! I believe the whole movie is still available on YouTube. Uh, number three is Zeus, played by Laurence Olivier from Clash of the Titans. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. I, I, number two is uh, Loki, played by the, the wetness in Chelsea's pants from the Marvel Cinematic <laughs> Universe. <laughs> right. um, hey now. Mr. Hey Hiddleston. Now. Don't Mr. dream it's Mr. over. Mr. Hiddleston, <laughs> we, we assure you, you, you will be protected on set. Number Gosh, one. I love him. I can't believe it, uh, Ricardo won. Number one is God, oh, played by Morgan Freeman and Bruce Almighty. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Nicely done. Action. Nicely done. And Evan Almighty. <laughs> hey, well, we don't talk about Evan Almighty. <laughs> 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 that movie didn't exist as far as I'm concerned, even though I reviewed it. Just like this. Just like, uh, I pretty genuinely crack. did not know until this moment that that movie existed. So. Uh, or but, doesn't. Doesn't exist. Well, I'm sorry that you had to find out. No, no, no. Uh, no number <laughs> top eight video game soundtracks. Oh, Skyrim soundtrack with Elder Scrolls Five. Okay, that's the that was up there. It's got to be up there. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, Fallout Four because I love that music. Okay, Chelsea or Ricardo. Uh, any of the fail. Tony Hawk movies or Tony Hawk video game? <laughs> Tony Hawk movies. All right, <laughs> it's Tony. It's Tony Hawk, the movie starring Sam Elliott as Tony Hawk. <laughs> starring I'm Bam. Just half pipe. Starring the lead singer of Fall Out Boy as Bam Margera. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh. No, over no, here, I'm gonna run no, into first stuff. Of all, first of all, Tony uh, Hawk and the Day of the Dead. And Ricardo first said, one, uh. Undertale. I actually respect yeah. Pete Wentz slightly as an artist and also in the way he's managed his career. Pete Wentz is not the lead singer, Chelsea. True, Patrick Stump is. Pete Wentz is just the frontman. <laughs> But I do respect Pete Wentz for his whole production team that he did, and he basically runs the company that does uh, plan- uh, Panic at the Disco and Follow Up Boy. Panic at the Disco. <laughs> uh, Ricardo is picking Undertale, uh, if you didn't hear him, over Chelsea, which I don't blame you. Uh, number eight. <laughs> number eight is Bully. Appropriate. That, yes. that's, yeah. Number seven, Planescape by Torment. Or Planescape Torment, not by Torment. By Torment. Number six, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, nice. Yeah, number five yeah. is World of Warcraft. Shmona, shmona. Four is Kingdom Hearts. Number three is Super Mario 64. Mm. Number two is Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. And number one is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's got a good soundtrack. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, you know, I tried looking uh, for... Beavis sky. and Butthead! Uh, you little expelled. bastards! Uh, I tried you looking... You little bastards! Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, chill out. <laughs> I'm, I found a voice I'm halfway decent at, apparently. Um, My, Mike, stop, not that hard stop to do. smoking all the, uh, the bobcat. Oh, wanna... <laughs> Just lay <laughs> off the bobcat. Wake up, man! You're expelled! Um... <laughs> So, we, we this was a very very short week of news. Uh, when it, we have two stories. Oh, <laughs> on the bottom, yo. So we're going to be getting into Jokerty real Here's soon. Here's a horrible the cat before the cat gets you off. Wait, I now. have some very horrible film news that apparently just popped up on Facebook. Okay. Oh, oh no. <sighs> Died. Mrs. Doubtfire remake next year, starring Medea. Jonah Hill. Oh uh, no, that's uh, actually worse than someone dying. No. Yes, it is. No. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it. I. Does it that is in fact a... actually worse than. I thought it was gonna be like James Earl Jones died or something. My hear my stupid ass thought. Oh, Robin Williams is gonna do another Mount Miss Doubtfire movie. There's a, there's a little, there's a little <laughs> oh. bit of a problem. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Yeah, that's why I said my stupid ass. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful it's like, oh, it's going to be good. Oh, wait. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Jonah Hill. Oh, it's going to be a great light-hearted the one person, romp. Through. No, the person oh. who would make it actually a good movie is no longer with us. Oh, why, it. why remake it? Why? 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 Just table the movie, it. The, the movie is perfect the way why? it is. Why? Why, 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 why? Money. Uh, so... After 27 seasons, Homer Simpson will appear live during a May episode of The Fox of Simpsons. What? What? Yes. How? In the, uh, well, it's a great, it's a terrible strain on the animator's wrists. Uh, no, in the episode... This episode was animated by a live studio audience. <laughs> in the episode, Marge, Lisa, and Bart will turn the show over to the family's patriarch, who would take a break from stuffing his face to comment on the events of the day live. During both the East Coast and West Coast broadcasts. Oh. Uh, so the episode will be different depending on what coast you're on. Uh, Fox revealed on Tuesday. Yes. Uh, executive producer Al Jean told us much more on a phone call immediately following the announcement. Not us, the, the place I'm reading from. Uh, I wish I could get Al Jean on the phone. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Just cancel it. Uh, for example... <laughs> how in the world they plan to pull this thing off? The final three minutes of the May 15th show... We'll use motion capture technology to animate actor Dan Castellaneta, who the, uh, the voice of Homer, whom Gene called a great improviser, in real time. All the while, Cal Castellaneta will be also providing on-the-fly voiceover. Uh, Gene promised the rap that producers will find some ways, interesting ways to prove the effort is live. While his is the only character going live, Castellaneta won't be alone. Gene and the writers will be hanging out in the booth motion capture facility. Offering last minute rewrites, any any last minute rewrites they can, kind of like an award show. There so, you go. what about because um, you said the East and the West Coast? What about people like me in God's time, who are? Uh, you mean well, God's, it, it, here's God's the thing. time. If you, uh, <laughs> Eastern and Central time get the same show, uh, as do oh, I believe. They, okay. As I do, as I believe, uh, Mountain and Pacific both get the same oh, show. Okay, so. so it's split. All yeah. right. Not north of the south. <laughs> so. I thought they were just going to, like, pick and choose. Like, yeah, we'll edit it together. So magic somehow. It's, this is from the airing in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of cheese. <laughs> so, uh, how about the Packers, huh? Go Packers! Woo! <sighs> and uh, the other piece of news we have is that, uh, Okay, so these Beatle auctions are getting out of hand now. A lock of John Lennon's hair sold for $35,000. Oh, God. What? <laughs> no. Yoko saved it, didn't she? Dallas based Heritage yep. Oxford said Saturday the four inch lock of hair was purchased by Paul Fraser, a United Kingdom based memorabilia collector. Uh, he's going to clone a new yes. John Lennon. No. Uh, a German hair hairdresser kept a tuft of Lennon's hair after giving him a trim before the Beatles started filming How I Won the War, a dark comedy released in 1967. 
That's creepy all by itself. Yeah. Yep. It was one of several Beatles-related items on uh, uh, on auction. A photograph of the iconic band signed by all four members went for 42500 and a sealed copy of the band's butcher cover for yesterday and today went for 125000 That there was a controversial cover back in the 60s. Our uh, producer is saying uh, Garbage Day all Beatles auctions, but there's none left now. <laughs> what is there left to sell? <laughs> Garbage day. Here is a piece uh, of used toilet paper from. They're ashes or something. George Harrison. They're ashes. <laughs> they weren't <laughs> cremated, Ricardo. Not yet. <laughs> Only Not two yet. of them are dead. Calm down, man. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a surgeon to step forward and say, "Yeah, here's George Harrison's appendix." <laughs> oh, I God. saved it. <laughs> you just don't yeah. say so. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody kill me, please! How, how are we gonna find if it's true? Let's dig him up. <laughs> Let's dig him up and see if it fits. What? See if it fits. See if it fits. Video works? game, video game style. You get it close to the place it's supposed to go. Just kind of snaps into place. <laughs> yep, that's it. It says. Oh my god. <laughs> this, is his, this is his appendix. Prove it. Snap. There you go. Oh, like a model kit. It's a build your own beetle kit. Holy crap. Okay, this Twitter conversation has been going on all night, and I am closing in on 5,000 tweets. And if my 5,000th tweet is about freaking Birdemic, what is even my life? Just hanging out with the family. <laughs> hanging out, hanging out. Uh, so it's time for the home stretch, and that means this is Jokerty. Let's meet today's contestants. First, a cast member on the mental cast from Nueva Leon, Mexico, Ricardo Arredondo. Next, a cast member of You Can't Be Serious from Green Bay, Wisconsin, Adam <laughs> Winkleman. And finally. A cast member of the Metal Cast, and you can't be serious, from Virginia Beach, Virginia, Chelsea Tarkington. Alright, you'll notice I didn't mention anything about a returning champion, because, of course, Jace is not with us tonight. He was unable to make it. He will be here to defend his championship next week, along with whoever wins this game. So, it's gonna be, there's gonna be co-champions. It's gonna be a weird little thing going on. The categories for the first round of play are Yipes, Mother Goose, Stamps, It Was the 80s, a non category, non in quotations. You know what that means. I totally heard a non category, and I was like, "All right." <laughs> it's but a conjunction and movie comedies. It's butter conjunction. It's but a conjunction. It's but conjunction. <sighs> My God. Conjunction, yeah. But stuff. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> you were not with me this weekend. Everything somebody said turned dirty. Oh. All right, Chelsea, you're gonna go first. And the uh, timer starts whenever you pick a category. Remember, uh, since all of you have played Joker's Jeopardy before, I will not be accepting an answer if it's not in the form of a question. So, <sighs> Why? I only I only do that when there's somebody new on the show uh, playing J- Jeopardy. So, yeah, remember to phrase them correctly or I can't take them. All right, Chelsea, it's but a conjunction, Joker, Stamps. Um, uh, um Joker, Stamps? These structures depicted on stamps include ones from Boston Harbor and New York London Harbor. What are lighthouses? That is correct. Oh, thank God. Uh, for Adam, we have... It was the 80s, a non-category, a non-category. Uh, what is the 80s? What is the 80s? <laughs> Wait, what is the 80s? <laughs> is it a bobcat? Uh, using the Montreal <laughs> Protocol, we took care of a problem with this stratospheric layer. Uh, could you repeat the question real quick? What, using the Mon- Montreal Protocol, we took care of a problem with this stratospheric layer. I don't know. Ricardo? Uh, uh, mm, no, I don't know. All right, Chelsea? Is it the ozone layer? What is the ozone layer? What is the ozone layer? Uh, Be careful about that. Is it the ozone layer? Is a question. <laughs> that is a question. That's why I'm not calling you wrong. <laughs> Ricardo, Ricardo, Joker. It was the 80s. It was the 80s. Joker. It was the 80s. All right. 
Uh, around 1982, we first heard this new word for amazing new technology. A portable VCR to shoot home movies. Mm. What is a video camera? Uh, I will accept. It's what is a camcorder, but the huh. video camera is essentially the same. Camcorders, hold them to your eye. Or your ass. No, don't hold them to your ass. That's what? Not good. You don't, don't do that. You'll Chelsea, get terrible shots that way. Chelsea, it was the 80s, yipes, mother goose, but it, it's but a conjunction. Let us go, uh, what is, what is, the, it was, was it the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind Charles and Diana, this couple's general hospital wedding was the big one of 1981. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, I don't freaking know. Who is, uh, what are some really 90s prep, uh, Terry and Jack? No, Adam? Who is Bella and Edward? No, Ricardo? <laughs> uh, who were Luke and Lara's wedding? Lara's? Yeah, that's correct. Luke yes. and Lara. Very good. Uh, so popperas. Adam. Adam. Uh, stamps, Yipe Mother Goose, movie comedies. Uh, movie comedies. Okay. Justin Bartha goes missing in this 2009 film. In his place is a baby in a closet and a live tiger. Uh, what is The Hangover? That is correct. Uh, Ricardo, for you. Hmm. It was the 80s, stamps, stamps. It was the 80s. All right. Uh, this CIA director was an elusive operative who foiled Congress by dying before he could testify on Iran-Contra. Hmm. 1980s. Uh, uh, who he, who was William Casey? That is correct. You got a. You started. You started before the bell went off, so uh, I give it to you. Nice. Uh, yeah. So, sorry. Doing 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 addition in my head. Uh, Chelsea Joker stamps Joker. Just Joker stamps. Stamps show the Army and Navy versions of this highest award for valor in combat. What is the Medal of Honor? That is correct. Mm. All right, Adam. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, vi Yipes, Mother Goose, Joker, it was the 80s. Uh, yipes, Mother Goose, Joker. All right, the old woman who lived in this gave her kids broth without any bread and whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. What is a shoe? What is a shoe, motherfucker? What a horrible, horrible person. I know, right? <clears throat> she whipped them on their... Mike's left shoe. Uh, Ricardo, it's but a conjunction. It's but a conjunction. Joker. Joker, the 80s. Uh, a guy in Boulder got hundreds and thousands... To hum at the same time in this happening, using sound to usher in a new age. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> nope, All right, Chelsea? Ch Chelsea? I'm very confused by the phrasing of that question. Hum and... Ah. When you say it, I'll probably get it, but Adam? right now I'm so confused. I'm Adam? confused too, but I'm going to say what is the uh, new millennium? No. <laughs> What is the harmonic convergence? Oh. Harmonic mm. convergence. And uh, it was the 80s is gone. So I'm getting rid of it. Gone forever. The 80s are gone? Yep. Yep. And they'll no! never be back. It's yeah, still in your heart. It's been what about 30 some years. Anymore? Uh, whose turn was that? That was Chelsea's, right? So, or no, it was no, Ricardo's. So Chelsea, me. Chelsea, stamps, joker, joker. I guess we're going stamps again. Joker the, stamps. The photos for the stamps depicting these aquatic flowers were taken at a DC garden, not at a Monet's Giverny. Uh, what are water lilies? That is correct. Uh, Adam. Joker, yipes, mother goose, it's but a conjunction. Uh, let's go Joker, mother goose. This pony rider came to town, one took his bag, another his scrip, the quicker for him, the quicker for to starve him. I don't know. I can't remember. Ricardo? Uh, who is Yankee Doodle uh, went to that's town? That's correct. No. That is correct. Yes. Ah, yeah. oh, damn it. I knew it was Yankee Doodle, so I was hoping neither of you did. Yeah. Uh, Ricardo, for you, Yipes Mother Goose, Yipes Mother Goose, movie comedies. Uh, movie comedies. 
In Caddyshack, this comedian said, I'll tell you, the stake still has marks from where the jockey was hitting it. Uh, what was his name? Uh, 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 Rodney Dangerfield. Repeat that. Rodney Dangerfield. I no? uh, can't accept that. Who's Chelsea? Or Chelsea? Ah, uh, yes. Who is Rod- Rod- Rodney Dangerfield? Yeah, there you go, yeah. Rod, yeah. Rod, Rod, Rod. Forgot to Rod, forgot Rod. to phrase it in the form of a question. You only lost four hundred dollars on it. It's not a big deal. Uh, Chelsea, one. Chelsea, for you, a non-category. Yipes, mother goose, Joker. Let's go with this. Uh, Joker, yipes, mother goose. Pime and stuff aside, this guy rode a spotted crow. Sorry, pime and stuff aside, this guy rode a spotted cow that threw him on the ground, which made the people laugh. Uh, who is Simple Simon? That is correct. Uh, Adam, a non-category Joker stamps. When we go for a non-category, a Virgin Mary is this version of a Bloody Mary cocktail. Uh, what is a non-alcoholic? That is correct. Uh, Ricardo, for you. Yes. Yipes, Mother Goose, a non-category stamps. Yeah, Mother Goose. All right. Old Dame Dob patched his knob with vinegar and brown paper. His knob being his fractured skull. <laughs> Can you repeat it, please? Old Dame Dob patched his knob with vinegar and brown paper, his knob being his fractured skull. No, I don't know. Chelsea? Who is Jack from Jack and Jill? That's Went correct. Up the hill? Oh. That and then did correct. dirty things at the top? Apparently somebody is that... I, I heard somebody's interpretation that Timer. it was just a sex joke. Timer. Uh, mm-hmm. Chelsea, movie comedies, Joker, Joker. Um, uh, let's go Joker Joker movie comedies. It's a 2014 cop comedy starring Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. What is Ride Along? That is correct. Uh, Adam, Joker, it's but a conjunction, Joker. (laughs) Uh, what do I go with Joker, it's but a conjunction? In a negative phrase, it's used after neither to show the second in the series. Uh, what is nor? That is correct. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, it's but a conjunction, it's but a conjunction, a non-category. Non-category. Financially speaking, NPR, the Red Cross, and the Girl Scouts are all classified as this type of organization. What is a non-profit organization? That is correct. Yep. That, mm. Chelsea. Give me the money. Chelsea, a non-category, movie comedies, Yipes Mother Goose. Um, what is... I don't have a Joker this time. Nope. All right. Uh, let's go movie category or comedies. What was it? Yes. Uh, the movie this one. Pick, go with the movie one. This pick flew with dialogue like, we have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? <laughs> what is Airplane? That is correct. Oh, that's a good movie, man. Surely uh, you can't be serious. I just watched that yesterday. Uh, Adam, Stamps, Yipe, Mother Goose, or Joker? Stamps, Yipe, Mother Goose, Joker. Uh, let's go for Stamps Joker. Okay. Uh, the Celebrity Chef series would not be complete without her stamp seen here. There it is in the chat. Who is, uh, Julia Child? That is correct. God, she was unattractive. (laughs) (laughs) It was all the butter. (laughs) I mean, Meryl Streep played her in the movie and was way better looking. Timer, timer. Uh, Ricardo, a non-category Joker Joker. Mm, Joker non-category. Uh, an interior wall that supports only its own weight is said to be this ten-letter type. What is, uh, what is a load-bearing? Incorrect. Chelsea. Oh. What is non-load-bearing? I will accept. Non-bearing or non-load-bearing. Hold on, I'm doing math in my head again. Alright. Uh, Chelsea. Joker, a non-category Yipes Mother Goose. Uh, let's go Joker, Yep, Smother Goose. I'm, I'm doing okay with that one. Whoa, an alternate version has four and twenty naughty birds, uh, naughty boys baked in a pie and a bag, not a pocket full of this. What is it? Sing a song of sixpence. Or what is, what are sixpence? No, Adam. Uh, crap. <laughs> Ricardo. Can you repeat it, please? An alternate version has four and twenty naughty boys baked in a pie in a bag, not a pocket, full of this. Oh, I know. Uh, what is... Uh, naughty boys? <laughs> no, pocket full of rye. Pocket full, full of rye, rye mother. 
Uh, Adam. Oh, wait a minute. Those. Uh, the not, the, uh, Mother Goose category is gone. The Daily Double is still out there. The one that we have for this round is still out there on the board somewhere. Hopefully you'll find it. We got about a minute and a half left, so see what happens. Uh, Adam, Joker, it's but a conjunction. Movie comedies. Uh, Joker, it's but a conjunction. Uh, it's an adverb when it begins a children's story, but a conjunction when it means whenever. Oh. <laughs> Ricardo? Uh, what is uh, high hopes? No, Chelsea. Uh, I want to say what is <laughs> Chelsea makes awkward noise. <laughs> <laughs> what is once upon a time? Uh, what is once? I'll give it to you. I knew reading all those fairy tales would pay. Do you know I haven't come across a? That's not true. I was going to say I haven't come across. Uh, a fairy Ricardo, tale. Joker, a non-category stamps. Joker, non-category. Uh, traditionally last in journalism's five W's, it also played, oh wait, that's not the right care. that's not the right one, sorry. Favoring neither the Republicans nor the Democrats. Favoring neither the Republicans nor the Democrats. Uh, what is third party? No, Chelsea. No. What is nonpartisan? What is nonpartisan? That is correct. <laughs> Ricardo, remember non-category. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So. After one round of play, Adam's in third with 3,200. Ricardo's in second with 3,800. Chelsea's in the lead with 13,000. Uh, no biggie, though, because we've got the second round to get to now, uh, where the point values are doubled. Double. And there are two daily doubles on the board. So remember that as we're playing our second round of play here. And uh, Adam will be going first. Okay, Alex. You're welcome. So the time starts when you pick your first category. The categories for this round are Food for Thought, They're Playing Our Song, TV Hangouts, Running the Magazine, Famous Last Words, and ZA, Z-A in quotes. You know what it means. Uh, TV Hangouts, I will give you the hangout. You tell me the show. Uh, they're playing our song. I'm going to give you a year and a song, and you tell me the artist. That's how it is. I remember answers in the form of a question. Adam, first up for you, Running the Magazine, Joker, ZA. Uh, running the magazine. Okay. Pleasure. Uh, 20-year-old music fan Jan Wenner dropped out of college to found this publication in 1967. What is Rolling Stone? That's correct. Uh, Ricardo, for you. Joker, yeah. running the magazine, food for thought. Mm, Joker, food for thought. Pregnant women are advised to stay away from shark, swordfish, and king mackerel right. due to high levels of this. What is uh, high cholesterol? Incorrect. Chelsea? What is mercury? That is correct. Oh. Because mercury can cause birth defects. Yes. Chelsea, uh, running the magazine, they're playing our song, Famous Last Words. Um, let's, uh, let's go, they're playing our song? 1996. Or they're playing our song, maybe. 1996, Don't okay. Speak. Who is no doubt? That is correct. I've done that at karaoke several times. Don't speak. Adam, just food for say. thought? Food for thought? Famous last words? Food for thought? Uh, food for thought. Okay. Uh, all right. This comes with a visual clue. The juicy seeds of this fruit are high in fiber and vitamins, and they're good for your heart. What is a pomegranate? That is correct. My mom eats those things all the fucking time. Pomegranates are delightful. No. <laughs> Ricardo, Chocolate Zah. covered pomegranate. Ricardo, za Joker, running the magazine. Uh, Joker, famous last words. Uh, the lawyer for this Yankee legend asserts he went out with, I'll finally get to see Marilyn. Who is DiMaggio? That is correct, Joe DiMaggio. Chelsea, uh, za Joker, they're playing our song. Um, what is... Joker, they're playing our song. Why not? 1977, Brick House. Oh, shit. Who is Earth, Wind, and Fire? Incorrect. Adam? Uh, took a shot in the dark. Oh. Brick House, Brick House, Brick House. Uh, I think I know it. Ricardo? Who are the Commodores? That's correct. Oh. 
Well done, Ricardo. Adam. Very good. Adam, Zod, Joker, famous last words. Uh, famous last words, Joker. Pardon me, sir, I did not do it on purpose after stepping on her executioner's foot at the guillotine. Why not? Who is Marie Antoinette? That is correct. Uh, Ricardo, Joker, running the magazine, running the magazine. Joker, famous last words. This legend of animation who wrote a name, uh, wrote a name on a piece of paper before his 1966 death, Kurt Russell. Kurt has no idea why. Uh, who is Kurt Geiger? No. Chelsea? Uh, who is Walt Disney? Walt Disney. Yeah. He's correct. So weird. Kurt Russell, right? Chelsea. Famous last words, Joker, Joker. Let's go, Joker, Joker. Famous last words. Uh, decades after leading England through World War II, he declared, I'm so bored with it all. Who is Winston Churchill? Yeah, that's right. Huh. I don't know those were his last words. He was bored with drinking at that time. <laughs> and smoking. <laughs> Whoa, that was a little off-key, that one. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, do, do, do. Adam, running the magazine, Joker, TV Hangouts. Uh... TV Hangouts, Joker. The Krusty Krab. <laughs> what is SpongeBob? Yes, yes that is correct. Uh, Ricardo, TV Hangouts, Za, Joker. Joker, TV Hangouts. Los Pollos Hermanos. What is Breaking Bad? That is correct. Of course you knew that one immediately. <laughs> now Pollos. <laughs> uh, Chelsea. Joker Za, famous last words. Uh, let's go Joker Za. A quatrain is one of these with four lines. What is a stanza? That is correct. George Costanza. No. Mm. <laughs> just, just a stanza. <laughs> Believe it or not. Adam, food for thought, famous last words, running the magazine. Uh, famous last words. In 1923, this Mexican rebel general allegedly said, Don't let it in like this. Tell them I said something. <laughs> Who is Che Guevara? No. Ricardo? <laughs> rebel. Ch Who is Pancho Villa? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Oh, Don't God. let it in like this. Tell them I said something. How could I, I not get, get that right. right? I had to. Yeah, of course, Ricardo had to. It's about his country. Uh, that category is gone, by the way. Oh, che no. Che Guevara in the 20s. Traveled back in time. <laughs> because communism. Because communism. <laughs> because communism. <laughs> uh, Ricardo, they're playing our song, Joker, Food for Thought. Uh, Joker, Hangouts? Central Perk. Who are friends? Yes. Who are friends? Who are friends? Yeah. We are not. Oh! What? <laughs> trying to say something? Ricardo and I are fighting. <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> Joker, Joker, Joker! <gasps> uh, the only category not up there anymore is Famous Last Words. Which one do you want? Mm, let's go Joker, 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 Zaw! Zaw? And which clue? 8, 12, 16, or 2,000? 2,000. Okay. This is just for Chelsea. Only she can, uh, only she may answer. Mm. Uh, if, if she gets it wrong, nobody else gets a shot. Uh, there's an image that goes with this. The hat seen here is made with this sheer fabric. <laughs> Yeah. Semen? <laughs> Semen Jesus. What is Semen Jesus? <laughs> what is oh, oh, shit? Remember, Fuck. remember the category. Za, 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 za. I can't think of the fabric for the song. Can't stop the fabric. What is organza? Oh! organza. I was going to say taffeta. It works at a fabric shop, you guys. That wouldn't have, that wouldn't have fit the category, Bill. I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Adam, Joker running the magazine, Joker. Uh, Joker running the magazine. Here's a quiz. Helen Gurley Brown edited this magazine for 32 years until 1977, uh, 1997. What is TV Guide? No. <laughs> Ricardo? <laughs> uh, what is Cosmopolitan? That's correct. Oh. 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 Ricardo, running the magazine, oh. Joker, oh. food for thought. That's women's shit. Uh, Joker, <laughs> TV, Hangouts. <laughs> That's one of them. 
So uh, you're actually you're in second place. Uh, Adam's got eight thousand. You've got thirteen grand. Chelsea's got twenty two thousand two hundred. So you are uh, like eighty eight hundred behind her. Uh, so how much do you want to wager of your thirteen thousand, Ricardo? And um, six thousand. Okay. Uh, remember, this is only for Ricardo. The Mystic Grill in Mystic Falls. What is a vampire diaries? Very good. Nicely done. Oof, Nicely I done. Know that at all. Chelsea, well TV done. Hangouts, TV Hangouts, Joker running the magazine. Let's go Joker TV Hangouts. Okay. Uh, the Royal Diner and Founding Fathers Bar. What is Bones? That is correct. <laughs> I love Bones. The Royal Diner actually exists as and but founding but that Chinese restaurant doesn't. Oh. I and to go to that Chinese restaurant. That is actually the end of regulation. We're going to head into Final Jeopardy. Of course, right now, uh, Adam is in third with eight thousand. Woo! Uh, Ricardo is in the second place with nineteen thousand. Chelsea's in the lead with twenty six thousand two hundred. Final. The final Jeopardy category is foreign words. Uh, send me your wagers in private message now, please. Oh, that's not fair. One of us doesn't speak English as a first language. What, uh, Pusta. Well, uh, yeah. what is puta? <laughs> <laughs> well, English is foreign to him, so who knows? <laughs> so yeah, send me your send me your wagers in private message. I have posted the scores in the chat so you can wager wager properly. What is Chelsea's not going to do her. I'm wagering everything this time because she's a, she has a quite a formidable lead. Okay, yeah, got, I'm going to have to be smart now. Got Mike. I got the answer. What is Pandeo? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is he say? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you guys are saying something vulgar in another language. Oh man. No, we're just shooting the shit, talking about the weather. We're just hanging out. Hanging out. What is merde? Hanging Ugh. out with the family. Merde? <laughs> Having ourselves a party. Merde? That's, 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 shit. You? that's shit in France. No, 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 I know. You're mispronouncing it, you dick face. How do you say it then, fucking clod? <laughs> merde? <laughs> Just waiting on uh, Ricardo's. It's merde. I already sent you the... Merde. Would Ricardo? Be... What'd you say, Ricardo? I sent you the message. You no, you, you no, you haven't. You sent the old account Oops. a message. <laughs> Delete <laughs> that fucking account. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use that one anymore. <laughs> okay. Send I knew immediately what the problem was, because he did that before, too. There you go. Thank Shit. you. All right. No, that's good. We got the wagers in now. Let me mark all these as red so I can get the fresh answers now. Uh, no, I don't want to make a new list. What is wrong with you? I just want to mark them as red. A pizza matter day. All right. The so category is foreign words. Here is your final Jeopardy clue. <sighs> The Holy Roman Empire from 800 to 1806 was the first. The German Empire from 1871 to 1918 was the second. 30 seconds. Good luck. No music this time. Just waiting on Ricardo to get his in. And then Christ, do, I have no idea. And I'll do the math. I just took a shot in the dark. <laughs> what, is, what is what is I What is Edicus a dickicus? A dickicus is the Latin word for dick. Actually it'd probably be penis, because I think that is No, hold on. What is Latin for penis? Penis. <laughs> it might actually be penis. It is penis. Ipso facto penis. Uh, I'm gonna be fake. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing I'm doing some math. Everybody's got their answers in. I'm just doing the math right now. Doing some maths. All right, we're all ready to go. The clue was uh, the Holy Roman Empire from 18, uh, 1800 to 18, uh, 800 to 1806 was the first. German Empire from 870 it was 1871 from 1918 was the second. And there was a third one that was really famous or infamous, as it were. Uh, let's start with who was in third place this whole time. <laughs> it is penis. Uh, Adam, 
uh, had 8,000 going into this. He said, what is to adapt and adopt a national language? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh, he wagered 7999 so it takes him down to a dollar. Uh, oh. We go I now to our wait, wait, second. We're not playing prices right rules. Uh, we're going to now down to our second place contestant, Ricardo Arredondo, came into this round with 19,000. He said, what is the third Reich? Reich is the correct answer. Oh. Uh, he just, <laughs> oh. uh, he wagers 9,500, which takes him up to 28,500. So Chelsea, wins. Chelsea, uh, ha- Came into the, oh. Don't blow the uh, uh, surprise for everybody, Chelsea. <laughs> now they're going to tune out. Spoiler alert. Uh, Chelsea came in with 26,200. 26,200. She uh, had to get it right and wager at least two grand to win this one. Uh, like 2,300 actually to tie. She said, what is Imperium? I'm afraid that is incorrect. Uh, it doesn't even matter what you wagered. Ch- uh, Ricardo is our co-champion with Jay Stays. Oh, okay. My, my so, answer... Literally makes no sense compared <laughs> to anything else. So, she guys, wagered uh, sixty one ninety nine, which uh, puts her at twenty thousand and one. So, yeah. So yeah, Ricardo. Uh, Ricardo is our winner. He will be back next week with Jace D Ace as co champions uh, to defend his championship, uh, which means uh, we already have our cast set for next week. Chelsea, Billy, Ricardo, and Jace will be on next week's episode. So every of the time cast. people translate to look up the Latin word for penis. And you know how it gives you the definition of the word if you do it in English, and then it also or, has a C it, also? Or is it phallus? Is it just phallus? <laughs> it probably is phallus. Phallus, phallus is yes. mentioned. Muto is mentioned, and verpa means erect penis. So I'm totally going to call it a verpa from now on. <laughs> but you know how it says a C also sometimes when you put in the English word? Under C also it says glands penis, which is the medical term. Because you're verpa. And also big penis. So I'm going to click on that. <laughs> so, uh, I Chelsea. Big penis in Latin is Magnus penis. Uh, since we're not doing Excel versions anymore, I can do it this way. Uh, your other prize, Ricardo, for winning is that you get to go first. Where do you, uh, where do we find you? You can find me on Facebook as Ricardo Arredondo, on Twitter as Richie Arredondo, and on Tumblr as Coco Mines. <laughs> okay. And that's it. Uh, and second- on YouTube as Chelsea was in second place. So, Chelsea, where do we find you? Oh, you can find me tweeting about apparently Birdemic um, and getting involved in long, drawn-out Twitter It'll conversations 5, with Jeremy tweets. Garcia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can, you can uh, find me on Twitter at Chelsea, which is C-H-E-L-F-F-I-E. I tweet about movies and anime and um, weird crap. And occasionally and the, Pokemon. And the occasional topless picture that she deletes. And MAGFest. <laughs> I talk about conventions a lot, too. Yeah. And um, I, 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 uh, I have friends. Our third place you finisher can, this week was Adam. You can find Adam. me oh. also at my blog, which is filmbookproject at dot blog, filmbookproject.blogspot.com. I will have my first review up by the end of the month. All right. Uh, third place was Adam Winkleman. Adam, where do we find you? Black Adam. You find Winkleman. me on the battlefield learning to be a soldier. Also, you can I find me so at, uh, at Flossman on Twitter, um, Facebook.com slash Flossman. And you can find me in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, not Green Bay. I got <laughs> where so apparently but everyone I'm seems to think I actually soldier. live now. I got so, but I'm not a soldier. Billy Carter. I got so, Billy Carter did not play Joker D today, but uh, where do we find you? Oh, you've heard this episode, all these episodes before. You know where to find me. Yeah, that you know what? That's fair. You've been on like what, almost 150 now. So it's Chelsea. Chelsea's actually like three episodes away from hitting 150. <laughs> She's that close. Um. Big thank you to our producer Dane again, of course, for uh, being producer tonight. Thank you, I Dane. Just wanna, I want to. Uh, me and Mike are coming up with a new podcast called "What's That Smell." <laughs> uh, it's going to be revolutionary. Uh, every episode comes with a scratch and sniff card. It's true. I'm in. It's true. And yeah, uh, yeah. You got scratch the and sniff. Spoiler alert: The first episode, it's um, my farts. Uh, yep, and you get to oh, print. Attractive. You actually have to. Pr- you actually have to so, print out this uh, scratch and sniff card. So apologies if every episode's smell of the week is printer ink. Yes. So is this the 
Uh, kitten kitten farts or the non kitten farts? Uh, both kitten farts from time to time. Uh, you can find me over on uh, tvfreemind.com where I do slam wrestle riffs, Joker's Wild, and you can't be serious. Uh, I am also over on geekjuicemedia.com where I do this show for fact's sake and Geek Juice Gaming Live, which will be tonight at ten o'clock Eastern time. For those of you listening to me, uh, what am I playing? You'll find out. I have something planned, but I'm gonna keep it close to the vest at the moment. Uh, I have nothing planned. Uh, and you can find me also on the social Wait, media. Philly, Philly, uh, Phil, Philly, Philly book, Facebook, Twitter, and Steam <laughs> as Metalcast MC Philly book. I don't know if that's like a Facebook for horses or uh, Facebook <laughs> for Philadelphia. It's always sunny Philly in Philly book. book. It's for Mr. Hands. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, I'm Mike Riley. Too soon. I'm, I'm a terrible person. I'm Mike Riley. I'm Chelsea Tarkington. I'm Billy Carter. <laughs> I'm Adam Winkleman. I'm retired or redundant. See you next week on the Mr. Hands cast. Have a great night. And remember, it's <laughs> Bobcat. Not even once. <laughs>